I'm Laura Lee Siemens and this is my Canadian Day Rant. So I'm sitting up here today in my kids treehouse and I was thinking about something. That is here in Canada we tend to not actually know our own Canadian history. I mean if I was to ask you can you name three of our founding fathers would you be able to do that? Or what if I was to say can you name five prime ministers that lived before you were born? There's a statement that people say if we don't learn our history, we're doomed to repeat it. And that's both true and false. Okay, it's true. Our forefathers made mistakes. And if we don't study history, we could end up making the exact same mistakes they made and not able to learn from our history, not learn, be able to learn from their mistakes. But the statement is also false because our forefathers actually did a lot of great things. And if we don't learn history, if we don't study our forefathers and the things that they did, we may not be able to pass on a great country like this to our children and our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren. Freedom is something most of the world doesn't get. And that's because it's actually really expensive. It costs the lives of a lot of people. And the fact that we have freedom isn't something we should take for granted. And if we're not careful, it's something we could end up just giving away and not having anymore. There's another statement that's important to remember. Don't tear down a fence until you know why it was built. Unless we've studied Canadian history and understood why our forefathers built Canada the way they built it, we don't really have the right to change it or to tear things down. Okay, there's another thing that's bothering me. When people take our Canadian history, and when we take something that is so complicated and vast, and then just sum it up into a few stories that make our forefathers sound like monsters, well, that's not very good either. If you believe that our Canadian history is a bunch of white guys showed up and took the land from these peaceful Indians who were doing nothing and then made, built a country based on white supremacy, then you don't actually know our Canadian history. Look, history is not a Disney movie. There's very few straight up villains and there's very few straight up heroes. History is a lot of men and women who were flawed. They had some great ideas and they had some horrible ideas. But they worked really hard and they created a country and it's a pretty amazing country. I mean, if you think about it, the poorest people in Canada live far better than the richest people in other countries. And as a woman here in Canada, I can go to school, I can study, I can have any career that I want to have, or I can also stay home and be a mom. I can complain about my government without worrying about going to prison. I can vote for my government. I can even be in my government if I decide to run and if I can get enough people to vote for me. That's pretty amazing. There's a lot of women who are just this week got the right to drive a car. In fact, there are people, there are women who are sitting inside a stadium watching a soccer game for the first time because women weren't allowed in stadiums to watch soccer. And those countries are far older than Canada. Our forefathers built this amazing country and we have to be thankful for the country we have. All of this didn't just show up. All of our freedoms didn't just show up. People worked for them. We live in a country where people of any race and any gender are free, free to be who they want to be and we should be thankful for that. How about if this year, from this Canada Day all the way till next Canada Day, let's make it a goal to try to learn as much of our history as we can. And if you want to know where to start, you can go to my podcast. From episode 14 to episode 24, I start each episode with a short five-minute clip about our Canadian history. And studying for it, I learned some really cool things. We had some great people in our past. All right, so it's Canada Day. Let's learn a bit of our history. I'm Laura Lee Siemens, and that's my Canada Day rant.